Hello everyone, I'm DIY Debra, and welcome to my channel, where we'll be covering food, recipes, lifestyle, and DIY, specializing in gluten and dairy-free. If this is something that you enjoy, please come along with me. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm DIY Debra. Today we're going to be making some homemade sea salted caramel chocolates in time for Valentine's Day. Let's go over some ingredients. You're going to need some corn syrup, a non-dairy cream, coconut condensed, sweetened condensed milk, some vanilla extract, cane sugar, a thermometer, packed brown sugar, a vegan butter, you can also use coconut, coconut sugar, a kosher salt, the accoutrement, we're going to need a pot for our stove stop with a, and I have a tongue twister, stove top dip, stove top, as well as we're going to need some chocolate. Enjoy Life now has the mini white chocolate chips, free from 14 allergens, so who is excited about that? As well as your heart shape molds, and these I picked up last year at our local Dollarama. I also have some peanuts and walnuts as we may make a Snickers version. So let's get to it. So I'm first going to start by combining all of my ingredients in a saucepan over the stove on medium heat. And by medium heat, I mean at five, the setting should be five. So we're adding a half a cup of firmly packed brown sugar, a half a cup of coconut sugar, and a half a cup of cane sugar. We're also going to be adding one cup of heavy cream. This one in particular is oat milk, and I find it at our local grocery store, actually in the coffee, uh, coffee creamers and milk section. Then I'm going to be adding a half a cup of a vegan butter, a half a cup of white corn syrup, and we're then going to combine this really well. Now this is going to be simmering over the stove for approximately 40 minutes. You want to try and get the temperature up to 250 degrees. So this part of the recipe can be pretty time consuming as you let it boil on the stove. Reduce down by about half and um, yeah. So we're also adding here our can of sweetened condensed milk, coconut, completely dairy-free. So over the next 40 minutes, we're going to be adding our thermometer and we want it to get up to 250 degrees. Now this thermometer I realized only goes up to 220, but I've made this enough times that I have an idea of how thick it's supposed to get before removing it from the stove, adding a teaspoon of vanilla and putting it in uh, the center of our chocolates. Now, if you enjoy my type of content, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload new videos. You will need to stir this mixture constantly over the 40 minutes while it's reducing down and thickening. You're then going to take your chopped chips and put them in your microwave for 30 second intervals until it's completely melted. I also add a little bit of coconut oil to mine. I just find that it makes it a nice consistency to drizzle as a garnish on our salted caramel hearts. Thank you. 
So you're definitely going to have to have everything together as you're going to be multitasking as the caramel is thickening and finishing up on the stove. You're going to be wanting to melt your chocolate so that it's melted so you can add it into your molds. You take the caramel mixture off the stove, then you're going to be adding in one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Mix that in really well. And then we're going to start putting together our homemade salted caramel hearts in time for Valentine's Day. Completely gluten-free, dairy-free, vegan, and absolutely mwah, delicioso. So as we let our caramel cool, which is going to happen very quickly, we're then going to take our melted chocolate and line each mold that you want to um, make your heart-shaped chocolates in. So I will be putting in the first layer of chocolate into each one of these molds, and then I will be moving them into the freezer for approximately 15 minutes until all the chocolate hardens. You can remove them from the freezer and then we're going to add our layer of caramel. Now, make sure that the chocolate is melted. It will have a really matte finish. If the chocolate is glossy at all, it is definitely not hardened. So then I'm going to be taking a spatula and wiping away any excess chocolate, patting down the molds so the chocolate settles into the bottom of each mold. Then we're going to be putting back in the freezer and let chill. One thing about making chocolates, it definitely, definitely can be messy and all kinds of fun. So if you have little ones at home, perfect time to get everyone involved. So these six larger chocolate hearts, I have decided to not only add the caramel, but also the peanuts to make them a Snickers satisfies you version of our chocolate salted caramel hearts. So for these little smaller chocolate hearts, once we've added our caramel, then we're going to top with another layer of chocolate. Again, we're going to be wiping away any excess chocolate. And as you can see here, I am elbows deep in chocolate, having the time of my life, making a nice big mess. But lots of fun, going to be so worth it and really delicious. Perfect to make in time for Valentine's Day. And covers just about anyone in the family and all their dietary choices. Vegan, gluten-free, dairy-free, yummy goodness for everyone! For my Snickers version chocolate hearts, the bottom layer, I have decided to use the Enjoy Life white chocolate. It's going to make these look super pretty. It's going to have a variegation and variation of tastes. Going to be absolutely delicious. I'm just so excited. I love baking. I love making and trying new things. Um, yeah, so, and this, these are just going to be so yummy. It's going to be so hard not to eat all of these and save any of them for Valentine's Day. So once I've added all the chocolate, I put all of the chocolates back into the freezer for approximately 30 minutes till they're completely chilled. Then, as you see here, we take them out of the freezer, pop them out of the molds, and they are looking fantastico. I am Italian today, not Belgian, Italian. Delicioso, fantastico. 
This is what creating in the kitchen should be all about, having tons of fun. So once I've popped these chocolate hearts out of the molds, I'm going to drizzle the Snickers ones with some of the white chocolate, garnish with a peanut, and then I'm going to take the other chocolate salted caramel hearts, drizzle with some semi-sweet chocolate, and sprinkle with some kosher, kosher salt, <laughs> tongue-tied today, and uh, then yeah, voila, all done. You could present these in a nice little candy box, and give these as a gift this Valentine season. So thank you so much for coming along with me today as I show you how to make some gluten-free, dairy-free, vegan, salted caramel chocolate hearts in time for Valentine's Day. If you happen to try making these for your loved ones this Valentine's Day, please be sure to let me know in the description box below. And these are also perfect as a gift to give the gift that keeps on giving this Valentine's Day, nothing better than making something homemade for the one that you love. So thank you everyone for joining me today. I hope you really enjoyed this recipe. Please don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.